All right, what's going on, you fam? Ryu didn't hear. So it's another week, another Zenkai, some more information on what to expect. And today we're going to be getting the Great Saiyaman 1 and 2 Zenkai. Uh, we kind of been on a trend of pretty mild Zenkai, so a lot of us don't have much hope for that. That sounds terrible. But we don't really aren't we aren't really expecting much out of the Great Saiyaman 1 and 2. Uh, but I don't know. Let's be a little bit optimistic. Let's see what we got here. Red support, good for Movie Saga and Hybrid Saiyans. Let's see what we got here. So in terms of stat changes, that's a pretty high jump in Strike and Blast. Defense is not too shabby. Uh, the one nice thing about this character is the cards that they provide. The additional damage, whether it be Strike or Blast, is actually uh, pretty significant. 20% additional damage is a big deal. Strike and Blast, pretty standard. Blue card, uh, major impact, so it didn't change the multiplier. Seal, one card on the enemy, and it cannot be used for 10 power counts, no big deal. Green card, I'm pretty sure all of this is the same. Inflicts all enemies that add you down grade plus 20% to damage received, 20 time accounts with the health restore. But I think the new thing is that minus one card draw speed at the bottom. Funny how Legends has acknowledged this issue that everyone has card draw speed and gains a card and everyone combos for so long you can bake a batch of cookies before you're ready to fight again. So they start making, uh, they start implementing little counters towards them and one of them being that. Uh, the ultimate, I'm pretty sure it's all the same. Massive impact damage, we got a little bit of blast armor here, minus 80% uh, sustained damage cut. Nullify enemy restore own health when it reaches zero effect, so nullify insurance. Isn't that quite nice? Just want to do a quick comparison here. Oh, look at that! That's the difference. His ultimate nullifies endurance. That's actually a pretty big deal. Not bad. Main ability, draw the ultimate, restore 50 key, 30% of damage inflicted, as well as 30% of ult damage inflicted. Pretty damn sure that's all the same thing, except now we're going to be getting a 10 more key. Okay. Thank you for that. Z ability is double defense. What's the Zenkai ability? Red Movie Saga. Okay. I honestly would have thought this would be more for uh, Red Hybrid Saiyan, but you know what? Red Movie Saga, I guess it gives us a bit of a clue of what to expect later down the line. Uh, I think people made the connection between uh, Zamasu Zenkai Awakening alongside uh, Super 17 Zenkai Awakening, eventually leading on to uh, the units that we saw as part of the anniversary. I honestly can't remember off the top of my head. My, my brain is basically mush, so Red Movie Saga character, who knows what to expect. Now, passive 1, 50% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts when he enters the field. Applies the follow effects to allies when this character goes to standby. Heal 10%, 3, uh, three charges. Restore 30 key and 20% of damage inflicted for 25 timer counts. Pretty nice support. I am not a fan of him having such a restricted uh, damage inflicted. Only 50, uh, 15 timer counts basically means that you really don't want this dude to be the last guy left. Otherwise, he's going to do no damage. So... Looks like the big jump is going to be 10% extra damage inflicted, paired alongside the damage inflicted support buff going up by 5 per- Oh, it's not even 5%, it's still 20! Uh-oh. Second passive, applies the follow effects to self when the battle starts. Reduce damage received by 50% for 30 timer counts. 80% of key recovery cannot be cancelled. What the hell is he recovering all this key for? What's the point of this? Apply buff effect, nullify attribute downgrades up to 6 times. Apply buff effect, nullify abnormal conditions up to three times. That's a, this is a stupid amount of key recovery. What's the point of that? But the reduced damage received would be nice. It's just a shame it can be cancelled, even if it's only for 30 timer counts. Because, I don't know, Ultra Gogeta exists. He's just going to swat the thing away and then just kill you in a single blue card. Now the Zenkai 3 passive, reduced damage received by 15%. Once 30 timer counts have elapsed from the battle start. So after 30 timer counts have passed since the start of the fight, you will then get a 15% reduced damage received passive. So it looks like... Hmm... That seems kind of weird. Why... I don't know. Why Why trade the... Uh, why trade the reduced damage received to just the 15%? Oh, well, I don't know. Applies the formal effects to self when he shows up on the battlefield. Restore 20 key. 30% to strike damage inflicted. There's that infamous sort of nerfing of the Zenkai. It's not just damage inflicted. It's got to be just to the strike attack. I, ugh, I don't know. I, I don't like that stuff. I don't, I don't get it. What's the point in trying to swat away some of these Zenkais? Why is this guy so... It's like some things they nail, some things they miss. Nullify Endurance on the ultimate. The main ability was already pretty good. I mean, those two are okay, but what's it, what is this? 
just on the strike attack? I don't know. I don't want to complain because it's still a significant buff, but that's so restrictive. And then the fourth passive. Applies the funnel effects to allies when this character is defeated. Randomly draws at most four new cards, should you have three or fewer. A 20% of damage inflicted buff which cannot be cancelled, as well as a 50% to key recovery buff. What the hell? What's with all this key? Pretty good, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. 20% buff, so pretty good support buffs, pretty good death buffs. A little bit strange for himself, considering uh, all his damage passives are basically uh, timed, but I guess I shouldn't complain? I don't know. We'll have to see how well he does on the field. Remember that as a hybrid sin, he has access to some pretty good support units, aka Future Gohan and the Revival Gohan. Now, speaking of which, this is going to be the showcase team, but that's not what I'm trying to get at. There's some new equipment that we got here. For the Equipment Awakening, we got this new equip over here. This is a equip for Sagas from the movie Sun Family, giving you up to 35% strike attack, 10% special move, and look at that. 25% key recovery. What? What's all this key recovery for? Is it just because Purple Gohan really likes to throw blue cards? Seems kind of crazy to me. Uh, alongside that, though, we also have a new equip, if I remember correctly. It is a equip with Kale on it. Yeah, this one here. So, 20%, 26% on Blast Attack with the up to 10% health buff, uh, I guess, for... I don't know, maybe Red Kafla just for some additional damage. Not really sure. This is probably the PvP equip, but I think that pretty much covers uh, everything. There isn't that much as part of this update. I will just quickly double check, but I'm fairly certain it's just those things. So, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section below what you're thinking. Uh, it's pretty clear that the developers are gearing up for the fourth year anniversary, so maybe they're not showing all the cards. Maybe they got some stuff hidden. Um, I don't know. We'll have to look forward to it. We'll have to see what they do. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the Zenkai. Do you think he's mid? Do you think he's foreshadowing for what to expect? And until next time, be on the lookout for the showcase. Peace.